Visual Studio 2013 was recently released and it's chock full of cool new features. A lot of stuff I really like about it. Uh, right off the bat, there's some nice product videos, including a pretty cool one, Introduction to Windows Azure with Scott Hansel. So I tried uh, this particular, tried to reproduce this video, uh, you know, locally, and uh, it mostly worked. I wasn't able to connect the debugger, so uh, maybe uh, I thought I'd record it, show you what I did, and if anyone else there has experienced the same thing or knows how to fix it, then they can tell me uh, what I'm doing wrong. So let me try to paraphrase what we saw in the introduction to Windows Azure with Scott Hansen. So we start off by creating a new project. It's a web application. Yep. MVC. Yes, it turns on the web API. Standard project creation going on. Okay, and I'll tell you if you run locally, that'll work just fine. Uh, let's go to the Solution Explorer, make a small change. So now we'll go to our controller and make the same change that Scott did. So trace. So, now we have a web application with a small modification. Let's try to publish this to a Windows Azure website. So, right click, publish. Go to import, new. I'll call it site was created. Let's verify that we can connect. Yep, looks good. Let's publish what we got. So let's start the process of publishing up to the Windows Azure website. Might as well move over to the Server Explorer. Tell this to refresh. Open. Open. Ah, there's our new website. Once this is published, I'll uh, go into the new website and. Uh, I will tell it that I want to see uh, my login information. Actually, that should be something I can do right now. So let's go a few settings. Here's our Windows Azure website that we were waiting for. Actually, all things being considered, that I thought that was extremely fast. So it's working. I can even just minimize that. Turn the login for folks. Save that. So this is pretty cool. Uh, go over here. I'm going to save for that website. I want to view the login information in my open window. So if I go back to the website, do a refresh. What's this? Hey, hi, it's Rob. So everything worked perfect, just as expected. Now I'll go over here and uh, we'll make the same change that doesn't quite work on my machine. I'll put a breakpoint here and, uh, oops, now we will close this one just to be thorough and I will attach debugger. Now we're attaching the debugger. Looks like it's working. Nice. But Refreshes web page, it doesn't stop here. Uh, if we hover over, you can see that the breakpoint doesn't look quite right, and it says the breakpoint will not currently be hit. No symbols have been loaded for this document. So that's where uh, my experiment doesn't 
match up quite with what I saw Mr. Hansley would do. Uh, if anyone out there knows why this might be happening, I would appreciate some feedback. I've tried this quite a few times in quite a few different ways and uh, still haven't been able to get that break point to be hit. So that's it. Uh, other than that, it's a really cool product. Very cool. Cheers.